Hey everyone, Andy here, and today I'm checking out the brand new Sony PMW F3 camera. This is Sony's first compact camera to feature a very large super 35 millimeter sized CMOS sensor. Uh, the, 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 the sensor on the camera is very, is very nice. We'll get into that in just one minute. But first, uh, I should show you that the camera really is combining the PMW EX1 or EX3 type cameras with this large sensor. Uh, you'll see all the same features on the camera that you would expect on an EX model, including this same LCD gain uh, switches and white balance switches. All the modes that you expect in the menus are basically identical. So this camera really does have all those features and formats, even including the uh, little S by S cards that you can record to here. It takes two S by S cards and can record in the XD Cam EX flavors. Uh, but moving on the back, there's some big differences that have occurred. Uh, one, it takes an XLR four pin power input uh, and, and, but the big difference here is that I also, have, in addition to a single SDI output, I have also have dual link output modes. This is an SDI A and B, which will be enabled with a software upgrade in the future, which is an additional uh, purchase item. But you can get this software upgrade if you want to have a dual link uh, RGB 444 output or dual link 1080p 60p output. So when you get the camera right away, you're just going to have the one 1080 uh, output, but you can upgrade and get this full 444 output option. So the camera can only ever record in the, in the XD Cam EX flavors, but with this output, you could also send an output to a, another a DEC or an SRW1, or, or the future, they're, they're going to have a SR memory recording option as well. So very, very cool to see that Sony is putting a lot, a lot of features into the camera. Now, in the future, you'll also be able to do with that, record to the cards in, in standard mode and send out a very nice uh, S-log uh, uh, basically full sensor type gamma mode uh, that will give you a really nice recording externally but keep the proxy type recording inside on the EX cards. Uh, on the, below this, below the SDI output, you're going to see a, a video down convert output, time code in, time code out, and gen lock. These are all very standard just like the EX3, so for multi-camera use and, and other uses, you'll love that. And on the side there, I also have an HDMI output as well as uh, iLink and, and uh, USB, very standard stuff. And then finally down here, a paint box input for paint box control. And finally, a 3D link type connector. It's called Spare, but what this is, is a 3D link connector, which will be enabled with additional software uh, that will allow you to connect two F3s together and essentially lock them so that one paint box can control two. This will be really great for 3D applications. Coming around the side of the camera, just really quickly, you're going to notice the record button and expanded focus button. This expanded focus option allows you to zoom in to get better focus. You can do this while recording, just like on the X1. And then I have a zoom rocker, kind of curious. Well, we'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, but finally, and very important for all, everyone out there who's accustomed to DSLRs, you're going to see that the camera has two XLR inputs. These are just standard XLR three-pin inputs. I, the camera does not have a built-in microphone, so you have to use these inputs uh, with a mic that does come with it, though. Uh, finally, I do have an RCA output on the bottom here. This will output my two channels over RCA. So we talked a little bit about the body here, but really want to talk about the big thing here, the sensor. The camera does feature uh, the large sensor, and it but the mount that it comes with is just an adapter. So this is a PL mount adapter. I'll take that off. Uh, and uh, this, you'll see here it's a standard PL mount, very well made, and it does feature even an Airy LDS and a Cook Eye communication right there. So very well made adapter. And the reason, it, there actually is a way to adjust the flange depth on this as well, which we can, uh, we'll learn about in the future. Uh, this is a nice build thing, but I can take it off there if I don't need it. And you'll see this is the F3 mount, I guess you could call it, the EX mount. This is the, the mount that actually is on the camera itself. It looks very similar to an EX3 type mount, they might, something you might see uh, I've seen before, uh, but they've changed it just slightly uh, to, and, and, and of course had that big old sensor. Uh, this mount is great because, because what it means is you can mount a whole variety of different lenses to the camera. With the right adapters, you can go to Nikon or Canon or whole, uh, different a whole bunch of different type lenses. Uh, also, uh, with this mount, you're gonna, they're going to enable you to use some Sony zoom lenses. I mentioned before that rocker there. Well, what this is going to do is allow you to take some Sony zoom lenses that they will release in the future and put them directly onto the camera right here. And with this, with this I can actually uh, control these zoom lenses with my zoom rocker. This will be the first, th the first time we've ever seen a uh, super 35 millimeter sensor lens, so a lens designed to cover that, have a zoom 
uh, motor in it. So this is a very exciting development. And you can kind of see the crossover between uh, ENG world we're accustomed to, where we're accustomed to uh, zoom lenses, and the cinema world where it's just not very standard. Typically, we use motorized zooms to control, uh, external zooms to control those lenses. So very cool that Sony has combined that. And by the way, I also have ND filters in here still to control uh, that. Now, there's just so many functions in this camera. The quality is outstanding. The sensor itself is very, very quiet. I had it up to 12 or 18 dB, and the noise is very, very minimal, very clean. There's something about that, that sharp beauty of the sensor that you'll really uh, come to, to love in the future. I'm looking forward to seeing all the video content that's made with this camera. I'm really excited to see that Sony has released uh, a camera like this, something that we always really wanted from them. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.